we will go through some of the basic uh, commands that we covered in uh, uh, week one. So uh, first of all, as we said in the um, computer lab, you need to install R first and then you need to install R Studio. I'm not going to do that now because I already have R, uh, but it's very easy to do that. So if you go in Google and um, type R, uh, then um, it will be the first uh, link. And then if you follow that link, then you should be able to find um, the um, R version that is uh, compatible with your uh, operating system. And as we said, R is the uh, main um, uh, statistical software or the, the program that we uh, follow, but because there is another interface that we can, um, that looks more friendly, uh, which is called R Studio. So we basically, you need to install R and then install R our studio so our studio again uh, in in Google uh, in Google you could uh, just type our studio and that should take you to uh, our studio and again you can download um, our studio so once you download our and our studio so you install our first and then you then you install our uh, studio and I launch here our studio in front of uh, on the screen so as you can see this is uh, this is our and uh, the first thing, as we said in the computer lab, uh, never work from the console. So you need to, so as you can see, this is the console. This is the environment. This is where your files are, plots, um, uh, packages, etc. So you should always um, uh, write a script. You should always uh, save your work in a script. So to, to start a new script, you go to file and from file, you start a new script. So, and as we said, so here you type your commands. And as we said in the uh, computer lab, the first thing you need to do is, or the first command is to know where, um, where R is looking uh, for the files or where is R is going to be saving your work. And that's called the working directory. So the first command you learned this week was git work directory. So git w, um, uh, D and as we said to run this command you just need to hold the cursor here and this line or highlight this line and then press uh, run so that seems this is where I am now so as we said in the computer lab you should always um, keep your work everything related to uh, a project in within this within the same folder so put everything related to a project to a certain project in the same folder so let's now assume that I have a new folder uh, where I'm going to save everything there all the work from um, maybe this week or for this for a certain project in a folder that called um, session uh, one and I want to change the work directory um, so I want R to be looking for files and saving files into that session one folder. So all what I need to do is just to get the path for this folder. And um, that's easy in uh, here. So if in Mac, you can just right click on the folder. And then if you press Alt uh, Option uh, key here, you can find the uh, you can copy the folder uh, path and in R all what you need to do is to type the command uh, set work uh, 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 directory and uh, then you uh, add your uh, where you want our uh, um, where, where you want your working directory to be so if I run this now now I'll change my work directory to my uh, new folder and um, that was the first command that we covered uh, this week. So um, as we said, we learned also about functions and packages. And we say, for example, we could, um, one of the um, uh, functions that we learn about is directory. So we could ask uh, R to give us a list of all uh, files that, a list of all files that exist in the work, in the current working directory. Um, obviously, there's no files at the moment. I didn't save anything on that um, uh, folder yet, but 
um, if you had uh, any files it should appear here once you uh, run execute this uh, this line so let's say um, another command we uh, or function we covered is date so if you execute that that will give you the date and this is when I'm recording this uh, uh, this video uh, we also talked about the system uh, time so etc so we covered a few um, few functions in in R and we said um, we could do actually more we also talked about round if we have a number like this let's say and we want to round this number and all what we need to do is to execute this command and that is six so we talked about options and we said okay you can add options to um, uh, or arguments to the function and in this case what if I want to uh, round to uh, two digits this number to two digits so I will add uh, two and if I run this that will give me 6.13 so how do we know the arguments or what I should uh, uh, what the options I can what options I can use as we said again we could do that by um, first of all you could know what round uh, does by uh, looking at the help file and to <coughs> go to the help file you just have a question mark before the uh, function name and then once you do that and you run you <coughs> you have the um, the help file on the right side here uh, and if you want to know what arguments uh, what uh, options you can you can enter or you can use with with this function so all that you need to do is to type uh, arguments r r a r g s and you um, enter round and then you execute this it give you what what that function does so x here is the number that you want to uh, round and these are the number of digits and by default this number of digits is zero and that's why it didn't give me an error message the first time when i ran this line without when i executed this line without uh, adding uh, uh, option two and then we talked about packages and we explained that r come with uh, some uh, sort of built-in or default packages so once you when you install the program they um they are installed but we learn two things about packages uh, we said the packages are um, a set of functions that can do um, so many things like and, and different different tasks but in 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 the meantime we um, if there is a package that we need to install external package that is not installed in R we need to first install the package and then we need to activate or recall the package so let's say now if we want to um, install a package that is not or does not exist uh, 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 with the uh, default um, R so um, the command to install a package is install and you see once you start typing the command R gives you some options and this is the install packages and then you add uh, let's say I want to be able to um, import data from Excel file so the Excel file so this is um, the read XL this is what we uh, one of the examples we we covered in in the tutorial this uh, this week so if you run this now R is installing um, uh, read Excel and as I said uh, you all you you install um, you need to install the package only once but you need to call or activate the package every uh, every session whenever you start uh, R you need to activate or recall the package to recall the package this read Excel so the command is library and um, if you in the bracket sorry you add the the name of uh, of the function now uh, once you run this now uh, we have we activated uh, this uh, uh, this package 